Okay. Well, Aubrey keeps bitching and moaning um, continuously I'm about. Make sure that we actually catch this bus. So I'm gonna actually. We've got a little bit of time. Uh -huh. You said ten after, right? Yeah, ten after. I just want to make sure we, we keep track of that minutes. time. Um, but well, she's, we've got 15 minutes. She's, you know, she's trying to do to convince the court that yeah, I know she is. She, you're she'll full never of succeed. shit and you've got Munchausen's and yeah, all of this shit. I know shit. that, but I, I, um, do you understand what I'm telling yes, you? Yes, I do. It is in the report. Yes, I do. But it's a and, lie. And let me put it this way, okay? Aubrey is clearly very, very, very much out of her mind, and she's got something really just. Aubrey, I'm going to tell you what I think is wrong with Aubrey. What? I think she's schizophrenic, Jason. I really do. It is in the family. But that um, may or may not surprise me. But she's, she's very she's, high functioning. Yeah. She is very high functioning. She's incredibly intelligent. Yeah. But I, she is, you do realize she's crazy. Well, yes, Mom, I know that. And she's got, I mean, she, she won't let this go for some reason. And she won't, I know. It's insignificant to me and it's insignificant to you. On all of this, but on, she she believes that you subverted the court back, I, I back in the day that, and all I of this stuff. It. I understand that, Mom. And I don't believe this either, but she told me something, and I'd like to clarify it with Tell you. Me. She said that during the uh, divorce or something like this, and I don't even know how the fuck she'd have gotten this information to begin with. Well, you probably that, let her read the Spooner report. I'm sure well, you did. Well, no. Um, but... She the, wanted uh, it, and I wouldn't let her have it because I didn't think it was right for the kids to read the custody report. I'm I sure she that did. Should have stayed private. And like I said, the reason that my dad gave me the Spooner report is because I need to have a backup plan for the FAA. Yeah, that's cool. That's fine. I, and I that's, won't say anything. And, to and like I said, that, it's 98 percent bullshit. But the fact yeah. that it's bullshit doesn't matter. Yeah, you're after because, it for just the one statement. Right, and okay. the and FAA. You don't, you don't ever use it for anything. No, else. Well, and the FAA it. is never going to try to verify its validity. I told so him. You, you see what I'm saying. Yeah, like, I told him that he he said something about it when you got a hold of it, and I said that you have no right. Right. Well, nor, I, I also stole it from his room way back you when did. you remember, and I, I'm, so I'd already had it. And that's when then. I talked to him. I said you have no right, and nor do I, to give that to either of the kids. Right. But anyway, what Aubrey said was that during the divorce, with you had switched lawyers. Um, I did switch lawyers. And that. Dr. Graves, I guess, had given you the only copies of some sort of documents that were under subpoena at the time, um, and that you burnt them or something like that, and that you told your lawyer and your lawyer quit. No, what happened? What happened was let me let me try to remember how that happened. I did get the records, and I took them home and read them. Right. And uh, I didn't get everything, just some of it. I, for the really personal stuff, I did get. Yeah. And um, what's your records? You have a right to them. Well, it, had I had Bolikovsky as a lawyer at the time, um, Malman never would have gotten the records because right. Bolikovsky was smart. He was also, like I said, a psychologist, and he knew how to keep no, your was, dad. Was Malman my dad's lawyer? Malman was your dad's lawyer. And Bolikovsky is your was, was your second, second lawyer. Was my second lawyer. My first, first lawyer, lawyer was just right out of being a. A public defender DA and didn't know shit. In fact, he did all the child support and everything wrong. Okay. Okay, he was really not a good lawyer. And um, I did get the records and I did burn them. That is a fact. Okay. All right. But what happened then is um, I told. Uh, what happened was Dr. Okay, the, the way it's, I don't know how I have enough time to tell you this. The way it started was Dr. Graves was sent uh, a request by Malman for the records. Melman was your dad's attorney. Uh -huh. Dr. Graves wrote him back and said, basically, fuck you. You're, right. You're not because getting the he's records. Not gonna, I mean, he doesn't he says have he, to. No, he's he not says, I'm to. not going to release her records to you. Right. And so then, I want to make sure that's not your airport bus, is it? No, that's, it says zero on it. What the fuck? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so then what happened is, uh, the, um, he got then he he got a subpoena, Melman got a subpoena. Okay? okay, I had already destroyed the records. Okay. So when when Graves got us what he'd given me to read, and I didn't have it all. So when Graves got the um, the subpoena, he had to turn over the records. He had no choice. Of course. So he turned over the records that he had. Right. He turned over everything he had, but what had happened is that I had destroyed some of the records. So. Um, my lawyer didn't what he what he did he didn't quit because of that right what he did was tell me that if it came to court and that if I was gonna be 
uh, charged with anything or being really, I could have been in a lot of trouble for that. Right. Graves didn't know that I was doing that. Right. Yeah, I didn't tell him I was going to go home and burn them. I just got pissed off and that's what I did. These, these were right. very private records to me and Terry had no right to them. And Graves agreed with me. And Terry, Dr. Graves had actually written a letter to the judge in the case and, uh -huh. and, and told him all of my history. Right. To the judge, wrote a letter, told him all of my history, and said that he wasn't going to turn over my records. Well, in the meantime, then there was a subpoena issued, and he had to turn them over, so he did. He turned okay. over everything he had left. My attorney at the time was named Jason Cerns. Okay. And he told me that the only way he could help me would be if I got a different lawyer. He didn't quit because I did that with the records. Right. He, what he said was, I have to resign because I can be subpoenaed and if I have to testify, I cannot protect you and I cannot help you and I will go to jail. Okay. And he said, I will go to jail to protect you. I will refuse to testify okay. because I'm your attorney. And I will go and do the jail time, and that's because that is because that is what I have to do as an attorney. Because I cannot give you up like that. Mm -hmm. In order to protect you, I will have to go to jail. And he was willing to do it. So he said the best thing for you to do at the moment is go ahead and let me write a letter to the court saying that you're going to find another attorney. And that's exactly what I did. So they do can you get, understand yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah. So they can. Well, you said he sucked anyway. So maybe that was a good thing. Yeah. But. And so they can get, I didn't like, but he was a far better lawyer. Right. Well, better lawyers generally aren't likable people. <laughs> yeah, lawyers are not likable. <laughs> the people. nature of the business. Exactly. But you, so so the court can make your present defender testify against you. They can ask them to, but your present defender can refuse. Right. And, but they have to do jail time to refuse. If they're right? found in contempt of court, they go to jail. And he said, "I will have to go to jail." So the best thing he said for all of us at this point is if you find another lawyer, then if I'm called to testify, I can refuse. Because I, he's not your lawyer. Because he's not my lawyer. Okay? Okay. So, That's, God, this freaking lawyers and mm -hmm, That's bullshit. Mm -hmm. He said, I can protect you better and I don't have to go to jail if I'm not your lawyer. But he didn't quit because of that. He, it was one of those mutual decisions. He said, right. you, what you really need to do is, is find a different lawyer, okay. and that's the only way I can protect you. Okay. Okay. I've, but I've, yes, I did burn the records, if that's what you're asking. Okay. Yes, I did. I have another question, then. Your dad doesn't need to know that. I don't. Everybody knows <laughs> Nobody, I did it. Yeah, I mean, I don't really care. My, this is all past to me. It's not. Well, I mean, it is, I'm, I'm my own man, and I'm an me, adult anyway. I don't really care. Yeah. So well, I'm not um, sure what it is you wanted to know. Okay. Well, I just wanted to know, because Aubrey, uh, whether, you know, was under subpoena or whatever, because Aubrey kept bitching and moaning about that. No, the records, I, he thing, was not under subpoena when I burned those records. Okay. okay? Another thing, the, um... He was under subpoena after had already done it. Right. Okay. Another thing that is in the, um, Spooner report. Sure. That, is that my boss?